you had to switch it over to uh, the half shekel. The half shekel. And it was done for a fee. They charged the fee. The money. Yeah, because they realized they could make money. They make, that, that, make exactly, money. Right. exactly. And that's then that's where the Rothschilds took that idea from. Exactly. Yeah. You see how everything comes together? Yeah. Uh, I got a, a scripture on dealing with the table. Uh because the most high gave us a table. This knowledge, this great wisdom and understanding is a table that the Lord has give, yeah. given us. Exactly. This uh this table is a bank, okay? Um, Proverbs 9 and 1, it says, Wisdom have built a house. She have hewn out her seven pillars, which means it's completely sound. A pillar represents something that has a, a sound founda uh, foundation. She have killed her beasts. She have mingled her wine. She have also furnished her table. So this is a metaphor for this knowledge. It's a great feast. All right, and it's put on what on a table, which is a bank. Now this is what King David said, uh, Pro, uh, Psalm twenty-three and five. It says, "Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of mine enemies." <laughs> our enemies is is, uh, is uh, Esau and all the other nations, but right in their presence, our table is being prepared. Meaning this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding, this bank. All right. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Again, the oil and the cup is a metaphor for this knowledge, this truth, which is put on our table. So we got a, we got a good table. Now, the Lord spoke about the table of these other phony Israelite groups. It says all their tables is, is filled with vomit. Like, mate, his table. You can see that their tables are full of vomit. And, there, and there's no, it doesn't make no sense for you to get a whole, but that's a new thing now, to get all these different groups together. That, that ain't going to work, man. That ain't going to, that ain't going to work. You, the most I didn't tell us to get together with a whole lot of different groups with, with, with different, um, uh, different philosophies or different, uh, doctrines, man. That's, that's complete madness, man. Right. And the only ones that's, that's standing out really, and always been standing out is GMS, man. The great, the great millstone. The, with the emphasis on the word great. <laughs> hey, we, we didn't make ourselves great. Yahabah Shemi Shai made us great, man. Great millstone. Um, this is a scripture here, uh, Isaiah 28, 7 and 8. It says, now this is, these are the other guy's table. But they, have, they also have aired through wine and through strong drink are out of the way. The priests and the prophet have aired through strong drink. And as I'm reading it, you could just put, put in the pictures. Nate, Gehenna. GOCC, they are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. Like an example of that is they're not teaching you about what's to come to America, about the martial law, about the chip. So they err in vision. They don't, they don't even see that vision. And a lot of them, they really don't want to see America be destroyed, man. They love this place truth be told you know so they err in vision they stumble in judgment for all tables are full of vomit and filthiness so that there is no place clean that's those other israelite groups their tables are filled with vomit and filthiness man and to Zariak, you made a major mistake a major blunder when you went with Johanna. now you got it not but you know in your heart you you ain't in the right place now we don't know you well we thought you were sincere we found out that you're not sincere and we thought you might have been the elect, but that's hard to believe now based on what you did. Okay? So you're going to have to go, go down with Johanna's ship, Johanna being the captain. And he's going he gonna to get on a lifeboat and try to get, get out, man. You know, probably put a dummy of him south there. Because he, he's a, he, yeah, that, that, yep, yep. Yeah, you made a major mistake because Johanna is nowhere near on our level, man. The ISUPK is nowhere near on our level. They, they don't, they're not even the same arena, man. You know, Nate, the same goes for you. We're the ones, that, we're the house of truth. Truth is coming from where we teach it. That's why you, why you have so many of these guys, scoffers coming against us, man. You got the clean table. Yep. Our table is clean. How, yeah, by us a, a, a house of truth. Yep, GMS. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know about you guys, but if you walk by and you see a guy eating on a filthy table, would you join him? Would you sit down with him and eat on that same filthy table? Zariak would. <laughs> you know? 
Think about that, man. You got you're all. Fully, you know what, Tazariak? You're full of yourself, man. Yeah, yeah. More more you, you're, you're, you're full of yourself, man. Johanan gave you that false ass rank, man. And you, there's nothing deep about you. Just like Ricard said, you're a babe in this thing. You're still a baby, man. You following this guy and praising this guy. You saying kind out of one to this to this shyster. You know? To this flim flam man. Uh, so going back to uh, St. John chapter 2, verse 13, uh, sorry, 14. And found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and, and the changes of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changes money and overthrew their tables. And said unto them that sold doves, take these things hence, make not my father's house and house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, the zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. Now I'm going to, um, verse uh, 15, look up that word tables in the Greek. Um, and the word for table in the Greek is uh, trapeza. Trapeza, which means a table, a table on which food is placed, an eating place. The table, table in the temple at Jerusalem on which the consecrated loaves were placed, equivalent to the food placed upon the table, to set a table, put food before one, a banquet, feast, the table or stand of money changer, where he sits exchanging different kinds of money for a fee, agio, and paying back with interest loans or deposits. You know, because that's what it, what they were doing. That's why Yahushua was getting angry with them, because they were basically using, uh, corrupting the, the the money system. You know, they were charge an exorbitant amount of money uh, to change, you know, during the year, like Elder Apostle Charges brought out. During the year, they had a certain fee that you had to pay, but then when the Passover came up, it probably doubled or tripled, you know? And when the uh, uh, the different fees came up, they probably doubled and tripled back then. So if you had to pay, uh, let's say you had to pay, uh, uh, let's say, five cents, they'd probably charge you a dollar, you know? They were charging usury, usury which is a, a violation of... They were doing all... All kind of That's uh, why the Lord lost it, man. Yeah, he lost and it. And that was the only time he lost it, man. Cuz yeah. of those cuz of those niggas that were making money, you know, they were they were manipulating the uh exchange of money from the drachma to the uh half shekel, from the uh the uh den denarius to the half shekel. Or whatever type of money that, that they were uh using, all right? And it's the same thing that is, uh, international bankers are doing today. So just Con. like the Lord lost it back then, you think he ain't going to lose it now when he comes back? Con. I, I got to... Yeah, go ahead. Okay. This is uh, Micah chapter 6, verse uh, 10. Are there yet the treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked and the scant measure that is abominable? Now the word scant uh, in the precept, it says measure of leanness. It says... Shall I count them pure with the wicked balances and with the bag of deceitful weights? For the rich men thereof are full of violence, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. Therefore also will I make thee sick in smiting thee, and making thee desolate because of thy sins. Thou shalt eat but not be satisfied, and thy casting down shall be in the midst of thee, and thou shalt take hold but shalt not deliver. And that which thou deliverest will I give up to the sword. So you are international bankers. The Lord is going, going to deal with you. You know, because here it is. You're supposed to, supposedly you're, you're supposed to be righteous people. You know, you set up uh, this uh, um, so-called America under the pretense of uh, in God we trust. Well, go back to Mayam Shalbao. He's supposed mm -hmm. to be a, uh, his father was supposed to be a rabbi, mm -hmm. which means a master of the law. God. Moses Am Shalbao. So those Rothschilds are supposedly descendants of ones that are supposed to keep the law, that's right? That's right. That's right. Yeah, and, and so, so you know, it being that you're supposed to be these so-called, quote-unquote, righteous people, you know, you ever since you got hold of, of, of the money of, of the world, you done nothing but wickedness. Everything you do is contrary to what the Scriptures speak of, you know? 
And yeah, outwardly, right. you, you claim to be these righteous people. You know, you claim to be the Jews, which you're not. Right. You know, you claim to uphold the laws of God, which you don't. Right. You know, and everything that you do is contrary to what's written in the Bible. That's right. Yeah, you set up the Federal Reserve and you did it by secret. Yep. All right. Yep. Yep. You did that by secret, yep. which is, is your main vehicle that you use to rip everybody off. That's why in James, and we called for it, James, the fifth chapter. The